One man's trash is another man's furniture. Take a look. Maybe something will catch your eye. I hope you like what you bought. The best antiques in the district. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Masterpieces by local artists at an afford. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. Make your garden cozier with our goods. My goods will brighten up your house. Enjoy your purchase. out on the best carpets on the island. Marhaba, it's a good day for a purchase. May your purchase bring you joy. Garden's much prettier, don't you think? I bet the memory. Well done, Sherry. The hall now looks much as it did in our youth. Brings back fond memories. It looks exactly like it was a decade ago. I can almost feel the memories hitting me. What a monstrosity. Where could such a creature even survive? Remember now, I never liked the way the books were sorted on these shelves. That you didn't. Your brother often struggled to find his reading materials after our visits. Some light reading for my spare time. Watkinson and Holman, Chapter 1, by Wallace Deorum. Oh, Mycroft. He always acts so serious, but then reads tripe like this. John, if I remember correctly, you couldn't put this book down.
Oh yes, we were sword fighting in this very spot. And that time I was the winner. So, as your victory prize, you asked me to fulfil a wish. I remember we did something the very next night, John, but what was it? We brought a cage with us. You insisted it must be made of iron. That's because we were preparing to hunt fairies in our garden. Everyone knows iron is the only thing that can hold them. And I was distinctly uncomfortable. It was a disguise, of course. Fairies are easy to scare off, unless you're incognito. And every trap needs bait. We brought honey and a glass of warm milk. After two hours lying in wait, we noticed movement in the bushes. The fairies appeared at last. No, it was just Isolde the pig. She was lured by the smell of honey and milk and ate every last drop. Isolde belonged to Mr. Sim in Miner's End and escaped regularly. At least twice a month we would see him searching for her all over the island. Imagine Goliath was surprised to find out his lady was not real. Something did happen that day, but no one can tell us the details. How can... I hope this child will find his it's place in the world. It's rather suspicious. He has great potential. We used to take a shortcut down the banisters. Much to everyone's annoyance. Oh yeah, what fun. They had to fix these handrails several times. I wouldn't try it now, Sherry. Tempting though it is. I hope Wooden Joe won't object to a new friend. I can sense an incoming memory, Sherry. Do you? I was so frustrated to find only one bed in this room. Mycroft initially refused to bring another for you, but... After a week-long dispute, he gave in. What a stubborn man. How well do you think he would sleep without a bed? Ah, <sighs> oh, the room looks nice now. It's comforting to see the way it was meant to be. My mother always preferred to spend her rare moments of lucidity with me. That's true. She even stopped Mycroft from joining you. Remember? I do. He didn't show it, but he was upset. 
I think mother paid more attention to me because I was younger. 